So, we've uncovered something troubling, which is our collection of t-shirts that were important to us at one point in our lives, but which, at this point, we really need to get rid of. And I believe our plan once was to turn these into some kind of a fancy pants blanket, but what we're going to do right now instead is make a short video, and then we're going to get rid of all of them in a donation box somewhere. All right, Austin, this is yours. Anything to say? Yeah, I that shirt and the matching black shirt are um are they're really classic. Um, my my favorite ex girlfriend gave them to me, and um that was sometime in like two thousand one, two thousand two. Awesome. So I think I have the other one. We'll probably get rid of that one too. Rough trade. That is like a that's a fake. Um, it's like a parody logo. Mm -hmm of like a real logo and I don't I don't remember which um which logo it is but it, it's it's one of those like delectable like homo t-shirts that I really like a lot but it's like way too like destroyed at this point to keep in your personals ad when I first met you you said you were looking for someone rough trade and I didn't know what I meant so I ignored that altogether <laughs> here's one of mine this shirt says un-american but really, what the manufacturers were advocating was a sort of unrestrained free speech and communal responsibility, and I believe that those responsibilities are fundamentally American. And so, this was an unsophisticated approach to a more sophisticated problem from my high school days. On. This shirt says, I am confused, from the same manufacturer, uh, which I actually believe was called unamerican.com. Um, and I bought these when I was hard into Chuck Palahniuk. Also, I ruined that shirt, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, it, it was an accident. On it and yeah, it got all fucked up. I'm sorry about that. Uh, here's one of the many shirts that your father has gotten me that either don't fit me or whatever. Uh, so notice, Otis, and it is rightly noticed. It's a pretty I love that shirt. Yeah. It um, it just doesn't fit anymore. We like destroyed it. Oh, we look, it so much. I had to. Wow. Just like me, whenever I like something, I have two of them. Yep, I had two pairs of the same shoes because I was trying to save them. Okay, this shirt I bought in Montana on a vacation with my aunt, Susan. It's a beautiful uh, shirt. Because we just seen some mountain goats at Glacier National Park. So that was a nice time, and I still remember how pretty it was. And also, my aunt's pretty nice. Here's a shirt. <laughs> I love Susan. She's uh, the best. With a lobster biting somebody's nipples with its claws. And that's great. <laughs> it's as mean. The way BDSM should yep. be. Cuffs of Maine. I love Cuffs of oh, Maine. They're a great surprise. organization. Oh, great. We both had one. Yeah. The problem with that one, though, is that one of the nipples is leaking because you used to wear this one in the shop to make, like... Yeah, this is all covered in paint and crap. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. It got, like, this milky white plastic right down the nipple. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was really classy and good. Duct tape. I really it's love that shirt. Sort of a homonym. <laughs> uh... I love that shirt. It's way too big. Here's a shirt that you got for me to replace a shirt that was ruined. And I really like home movies. Uh, but I don't wear the shirt that I really wear white t-shirts. And nowadays it's too big anyway. Okay. Home movies. Uh, uh, here's a shirt that is The Tick. I bought a big pile of Tick merchandise right before I left for Antioch. Because I was really into The Tick at the time. And I still enjoy it. Do you want to wear that shirt? Nope. Okay. Again, white t-shirt. Don't wear it. Super Dad! That was a present from some friends of mine, some very dear friends of mine, um, who are very um, good to me. Yes, and they got me a little, like, froggy princess shirt to go with that. It was very cute. Huh. Got dildo? I love that shirt. I got that, like, on eBay in, like, 2000 when I used to work at the Needle Exchange. I was very much into safer sex advocacy for, like, the past, oh, I don't know. Since, like, 1993 or Since something. Yeah. yeah, so I got that, and I used to love wearing it to, um, used to love wearing it to, no, not to work. They eventually started manufacturing shirts, because everybody asked for them. And they're good donuts. Should I keep that shirt? No. Linux journal. It was too small back then. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is the, um, the amazing shirt that came with the, um, the Linux journal like three CD subscription that I got you. Yeah, and I love that Digital. CD. It's pretty awesome to plumb back in time and see how shitty everything was ten years ago. So this is like, you know, the ballot, and you're voting right. for Tux slash Linux. Yeah. The problem, of course, is that I pretty much always vote a straight Democratic ticket. So yeah. I so. I'm uncomfortable wearing this shirt. It reeks of libertarianism. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> 
counted oh. as a shirt that I used to wear when I first met you, but before that it belonged to some asshole, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I loved this shirt only because whoever made it did a really great job with the logo. I love that the um, there are shackles that are that form the G in bondage, and um, I just I really love the design of this shirt. Unfortunately, I find it a challenge to wear, yes. and I'm finding it really challenging to put in that bag. We have a pair of those handcuffs now, so that's how we'll remember it. This is. A uh, shirt that I got from Think Geek way back in the day. Regular expression. It matches two B's or not, not a B two, two B. times. Oh, so that's great. You Thank you, Shakespeare. Yeah. Good times. Uh, this is another shirt from my high school days. Fray.com was a creative writing oh, website. Hope, hope is the, the thing, thing with feathers. feathers. Yeah. yeah, it's an Emily Dickinson quote. Yeah. That's really, really dark, though. This, you know, this logo with the, with the eye, the yeah. one eyeball. Yeah. All right, I'm going to need another bag because I think this one's cool. Ah. Uh, Father, give me arms. This is a shirt we got from somewhere on the internet. I don't really remember. Cotton factory. Uh, well, I bought it to go to a uh, show at Hampshire about assistive technology. because Assistive I'm technology. Some of my stuff. Yeah, yeah so there you go. Because uh, you used to make assistive so I used technology. To make shit for people who had no arms. There you are. Uh... So that's kind of paternalistic and patronizing, actually. Uh, EFF got this shirt for donating money to EFF, and they're so pretty awesome. EFF is the... Electronic Frontier Foundation, Digital Rights Foundation. It's like the ACLU, but yeah. for technology, and also they're, I think, a lot more effective and less annoying than the ACLU because they pick their battles. Uh, okay. Uh, I fart on you. I fart in your general <laughs> direction. Yeah. I love it. It's from the Holy Grail. Yep. Yay. Oh, been it's covered with one. paint. Yeah. yeah. This one looks like mine. I don't know. I think it might be mine. No, this is definitely mine. Oh, I don't it's know Peta. how I ended up in this shirt. Okay, I... however, wait. <laughs> it's actually people yeah. for the eating of tasty animals. Yeah. And I, we're Good more time. or less... Here's why I don't like Peta Because they're um, yeah. exploitative of women. They're cruel and mean to fat people. And they're basically... Um, it's basically like I am so passionate about animal rights. And then... I just want to like PETA, and I just can't. Okay. Home Star, I got rid of this shirt because it didn't fit me, but now it might, and so I feel a little bit like I want to put it downstairs. Okay, put it downstairs. So See, I this is the old, this is the late... Yeah. What do you mean a small failure? This is appropriate. Uh, you have no shirts. Don't tread on the ADA. Yeah, that was really nice. Don't tread on the ADA. Um, and that's really great, the Americans with Disabilities Act, and I really like that, but I have a real, I'm really uncomfortable wearing American flags, yeah. and um, I don't generally wear white t-shirts. Right. Uh, here's... My very first tick t-shirt ever. I wore the hell out of this Keen. in high school and also in college. And it's all fucked up nowadays. Show me the back. Keen. Oh, gross. Yeah. I love that shirt. But I like that shirt, too. They don't make it anymore. If I they know. did, I would have bought another one. Uh, Tranny, we got this at the Pride store. Ooh, that might fit me now. Yeah, it might fit me, too. Put it. Can we put it downstairs now? Okay. Okay. Okay, this, that is the appropriate time to take things downstairs. But not that bondage shirt. Right on Aw, that was so cute. That was a design that I helped to create for um, one of um, the, the new Primitive Leather t-shirts, like new as in newer than the other one that was down there. Yeah. And um, then later I painted over the um, painted over the sign down there, and I, um, I made it say ride him because I had you wear that to um, uh, Sachi Some Green's um, book opening mm. for uh, Road Hard. Like yeah, lesbian cowboy running a road hard put away wet. Yeah. Sachi is an amazing editor and writer. I am your webmaster, you must submit. That is so cute. But unfortunately, I would be the only one that could wear it. And, um...